talk about today is a revolutionary new way of doing this. SEO has been around since pretty much the beginning of the internet. Everybody know what SEO means? It means search engine optimization. So when we first had a Yahoo, somebody was trying to figure out how to get on page one. So that's a long time. Okay. This program here allows people to get in and do this at a very modest price. And depending on how much they want to do, they can go lots of different ways. But the really cool thing is you can actually get it free. We'll talk more about that later. How do you know what words to stick in the search engines so that people will find you? In other words, how are you picking your keywords to optimize your website? Anybody got an idea? Dark word? Any other? Analytics. Look at your analytics. I mean, there's there's a lot of different ways, right? Yes. How about ask the gorilla? Yeah, we ask the gorilla because <laughs> if you ask Google, he'll tell you what people are typing in. And we're not talking about looking at your, you know, the name of your company on as a, as a keyword. We're talking about what keywords <coughs> people they don't know your company. How would they find you on on Google? If they wanted to Google you, what kind of keywords would they put in there? And even if you guess, 90% of the people guess wrong. So we're going to show you a way to totally eliminate guesswork right now. As a matter of fact, for the longest time, I'd ask people what, what keywords you use, and they usually say their company name. <clears throat> people don't search for your product by your company name usually. They search by whatever category it is they're, they're looking for. <laughs> so this is actually a typical Google screen. And if you look right over here, this is really cool. It tells you that for this keyword, Jacksonville Irrigation, on a global scale, there were 1,300 1, searches. Locally, it's the same thing. That's because it says what? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Okay? If you just type in irrigation, you get different numbers. But the here. problem is, if you just type in irrigation, if you get on page one of irrigation, how many people here think you're going to want to run a sprinkler system out to Boise, Idaho? Because right. it's not geo-targeted. Right. Okay, so this is targeting somebody that has a business here in Jacksonville that's looking for people that are looking for irrigation in Jacksonville. And by the way, the thing that you want to notice on here, you see this part, this is competition. It tells you that for these words, there's only medium competition. It's not much happening here, but there's a whole lot of competition right here. That's very, very important if you're doing any kind of pay-per-click, or you're going to have to fight for those words. If you've got to compete heavily for a specific word, Carl and I believe that what you want to do is hit them where they're not. Not try and beat them off the page where they are. When you talk to Google, when you use the Google Keyword Tool, which he's going to show you how to use right now, you don't have to guess right. You just have to give it something to work with because Google will do the thinking for you. And it will bring up variations, long tail keywords, which are two or more words. It'll show you where sometimes even, even a keyword that only has maybe a couple of hundred hits, if it's a perfect fit, do you think you want to try to get that keyword? Then it becomes a matter of how do we acquire it. All right, we're going to get into that, but if you can't target it, What's the point? Because I can hit the wrong keyword every day and it's not going to do you any good. What is the ultimate goal of having a website? Anybody? Make money. Okay? That's what it's all about. And there's, there's some stumbling blocks that a lot of small businesses are running into because they don't understand exactly how the process works. And, and I'm not blaming anybody for that. We're not pointing blame because here's the thing that you have to understand. The web has undergone a sea change in the last four years. I mean, it's totally unrecognizable. You know, Hector's been doing this since 19, what, 93? I've been doing it since 1995. And in the last four years, all the rules have totally changed. In fact, the last two years, there have been some significant changes. So the problem is, unless you've got an expert in your corner that's going to keep you ahead of the changes and show you how to take advantage of what is available online, what chances have you got to succeed? In fact, I want to, so, you know, the thing is you need a team to really keep you on the beam as to what's going on online. I'll let Hector. So 